status of the negotiation between FORSA and the HSE regarding new home health services. Every vessel has four minutes. Thank you, Chairman, and I thank the Cowan Corley's office for selecting uh, this issue as a topical. Um, unfortunately, uh, had the HSE um, agreed and implemented what they said they do, there would be no need for me to, to raise this particular issue. But having discussed this with uh, numerous uh, staff in Kerry, and the issue in particular relates to the Cork Kerry region, where little or no progress has been made with the implementation uh, of the agreement. Now, uh, Home Helps, and from now on, they shall be referred to as Healthcare Support Assistance, and that is part of the agreement. Um, I asked in the 1st of October this year, and I, I'll call out the question, I asked the Minister for Health the status of the provision of new contracts to HSE Home Help staff, the timeline for completion, and if he is satisfied with the progress of same. Now, I got a very comprehensive reply, and uh, I was told that the contracts for home health staff are being rolled out. Um, the uh, rostering arrangements will be put in place, and that the work would be completed by March of 2019. Now, I'll remind the Minister that uh, the agreement was put in place under the auspices of the WRC uh, through uh, the, the, the the engagement between SIP2 and the WR, uh, the SIP2 and the, U, and the HSE, uh, an arrangement, and the, the key provisions of the arrangements were as follows: that there would be an increase in contracted hours for over 90% of the uh, home support staff if they choose to accept the HSE offers. Uh, there would be a change in title from home help worker to healthcare support assistance to better reflect the nature of the service being provided. There would be an introduction of rostered arrangements to give staff greater certainty regarding their hours of attendance with travel time factored in to these arrangements, and there would be an assignment of work basis. Now, unfortunately, Minister, as of uh, last week, little or no progress was made, which forced the union to ballot their staff members on strike action, and an, uh, an overwhelming majority of uh, members uh, voted in favour of strike action. And now I understand there was some progress late last week on foot of this, and now further commitments have been made, and I understand that the strike action has been put on hold subject to the uh, agreement of last Friday being implemented. Now, around the country, there has been some progress made but not enough, but as I represent the Kerry region, and this uh, re uh, re re reflects specifically the Cork Kerry region, I am asking you, Minister, today, can you give me a commitment for once and for all that the agreement at the, R the WRC will be implemented in full and will resolve the issues that are outstanding and will give home health support assistance, the necessary terms and conditions that they deserve, because they provide, as you know, an invaluable service in their community, and without them, the already strained health care system would be further undermined. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, Deputy. And Thomas Dodge. Uh, Carrick, first of all, I want to thank Deputy John Brazil for raising this very important issue, and I am happy to clarify the position on the issue raised. By way of background, in April 2014, following a Labour Court recommendation, the HSE implemented new contracts for its directly employed home help staff. These contracts provided each home help with a guaranteed minimum number of hours per week and a guaranteed income each week, with actual work assignments managed in a reasonable way to meet the needs of the clients over the course of 12 months. This new contract was regarded by staff by unions and management as a positive development for the HSE employed uh, home helps. More recently, in 2017, the HSE engaged with SIP2 under a WRC conciliation to review the current home help staff contracts. This review was provided for in 2014 home help agreement. 
The aim was to ensure that the contracted arrangements reflect the needs of the service to maximise the contracted hours for HSE directly employed staff and to take further steps towards professionalising the home support services. The agreement under the auspices of the WRC will provide for, first of all, an increase in contracted hours for over 90% of home support staff if they choose to accept the HSE offers a change of title from home help worker to healthcare support assistance to better reflect the nature of the service being provided. Thirdly, the introduction of a rostered arrangement to give staff greater certainty regarding their hours of attendance with time travel factored in these arrangements and assignment of work basis. A requirement that all new home health staff should possess on recruitment the minimum qualification equivalent to the relevant QQ1 uh, approved major award at level 5 or higher. While this agreement involves home health staff who are represented by SIP2, the agreement will also have implications for the direct line managers of home health staff, the home health coordinators. These coordinators are represented by FORSA. In particular, I understand that the coordinators are concerned at the impact of this new contract on their role and their responsibilities. I understand the HSE has met with FORSA at a national level regarding their concerns in relation to the impact of the Home Help contract review. The HSE has made a number of proposals to address these particular concerns, and these include the introduction of an IT system to assist in production of rosters and examination of the role and function of home health coordinators under the clerical admin uh, job uh, evaluation scheme. A review of the structure and supports of the role was also proposed, and I understand that FORSA has agreed to these proposals. I am also advised that there was a specific issue relating to CHO Area 4 in relation to getting briefing sessions for staff of the Home Help Services underway. However, these have since been resolved and the HSE has informed me that these briefings are, com are to commence this week. Thank you, Carla. Uh, Minister, your reply is almost identical to the reply I got on the 1st of October. But unfortunately, no progress was made, and hence the ballot for strike action. And I think it's ironic that the last line of your reply states that I am advised there was a specific issue relating to CHO4, which is Cork and Kerry, and these issues have since been resolved by the HSE. They might be resolved in the minds of the HSE, but they are certainly not resolved in the minds of the Home Health Care Assistance. And that is why I am raising the issue under uh, a topical debate. And can I point out again, Minister, the key issues that need to be resolved? There are no contracts have been offered to the healthcare support assistance as yet. There is no recognition of travelling time. There is um, no rostering in place and the Working Time Act is being continually broken. So we are asking people to work under conditions that actually break the Working Time Act, which is, in my opinion, uh, unsafe uh, and unfair. There has been no evaluation of their hours and there has been, uh, as I stated, no contracts are sorry no break time given and they're entitled to to break time as every as every worker worker is so minister uh, for once and for all and i plead with you again these people provide an invaluable service to our health system and i would ask you that rather than giving our the hse giving you assurances that things are in place when in fact they aren't that you would follow this up and make sure they implement and do as they actually have promised to do and implement what Thank is you, a WRC recommendation. Thank you very much. Again, I want to uh, thank uh, Deputy John Brassett for raising this a very important issue. And of course, your concerns in relation to the contracts, the travel time, the rostering, uh, the working time being broken, and the evaluation issue, and also uh, these are important five 
key points here that you are raising. And of course, the answer to your question is uh, I will follow up on those and find out exactly what the latest is. Because I, I totally accept your point that home helps are in, provide an invaluable service to the most vulnerable members of our communities, enabling people such as the elderly and those suffering with chronic and, and bad illnesses to remain in their homes, to feel comfortable, safe and valued. So there's no difference there. And I also want to say that uh, since 2017, the HSE has engaged with SIP2 under a WRC conciliation to review the, the home help staff contracts. And this review was provided under the 2014 agreement. But can I, understandably, though, home health coordinators who are represented by FORSA, and this is obviously part of the problem, are concerned about the impact of this new agreement on their role and their responsibilities. So I welcome the fact, and I have to say this, that all parties are working together to progress matters, and there has been ongoing engagement with FORSA in this regard. I do believe, though, that the proposals that have been put forward by the HSE to FORSA, and which have been accepted, will assist in laying these concerns and ensuring that new contracts can be agreed, can be rolled out. But in relation to the, the new contracts, the travel time, the rostering, the working time uh, issue that you raise about being broken, and the evaluation of the hours, these issues and concerns I will bring back to the Senior Minister as well. Thank you. Thank you